Okay, quick update time. So last time we saw the Network Rail DBSO, um, we'd cut out the windows and fitted all of the photo etch details. Since then, uh, I've got some, got the airbrush out, got some primer on it. Um, just have a look and see how we're doing before we get another coat of primer. So you can see the window blank uh, looks really good. Uh, on the other side, equally looks good. Um, Fitted the uh, some brass handles to the new driver's door, probably a bit thick, but hey, they'll be nice and strong. Not entirely happy with the um, scoring the plastic detail um, for the driver's door, but uh, hopefully it won't look too bad when it's uh, painted. Front of the DBSO, if I might say so, looks pretty good. Lights, horn grill, window frames all look good. Around this side I've had to flatten down the filled in window because um, it didn't look great. I've spent quite a lot of time tidying up those front side windows on both sides so they're not perfect but they look a lot better and more regular than they were because there are no window frames to cover my sins. And then just here huh, I put my thumb on the primer when it was still wet so I've had to sand that back and then again just on the roof sanded that back. So next steps, uh, another coat of primer, um, then if that looks good, coat of white paint and then we're ready for our network rail yellow. Okay, so in the last video we got the primer on, rubbed down a few rough areas and uh, we're ready to put some more primer on, then a coat of white, then a coat of yellow. So as you can see the coat of yellow is now on and I think it's looking pretty good. Um, yeah, me too. Thank you. Front windows uh, where I've had to file them down actually look nice and neat. You um, can still see that blank a little bit, but it's good enough. Um, glazing's back in. Um, I have had to cut away where those window blanks go in here. That does stop the glazing fitting properly, so I've had to cut away the windows because um, they are sort of flush fit. Um, front of the DBSO think looks good with the yellow everything looks okay there and then this side got the new driver's door um, those two windows I've sprayed those white because they're white on the real thing to match that one back there so yeah um, next step we'll obviously take the glazing back out we will need to mask it and paint the orange line that runs around the top I'm not sure what that's actually called if you know do comment and let us know um, once we've painted the orange line, we will mask again and paint the roof, then mask again and paint the end where the corridor coupling goes. And I think there's a little black um, step below the new driver's door. If there's any other details that need painting at that point, we'll do that. Then probably coat of gloss, um, Rautec decals transfers, another coat of, of gloss or satin to seal the decals, a um, little bit of light weathering back on the chassis so I might pop this one on the chassis and give it a run see how it looks in its um, half finished yellow livery okay so in the last video we had um, given the DBSO a coat of yellow paint and we were in the process then of just looking at some of the um, details um, and then getting ready to mask and paint the orange line around the top don't know what that's called and um, the painting the roof and some of the details so that's now been done and this is pretty much finished now um, just need to add some glazing in the front end of the cab and I need to add the plow um, just here the instructions are, are fantastic generally but a little bit less clear when it comes to plow so I'm going to go by some photos of models that other people have built but you can see now um, it's had its final livery um, so just point out a couple of details obviously blanking plates here but we've also sprayed these two windows white to match the real thing um, yeah overall really pleased with it um, I've got a, uh, an, a Hornby Network Rail Mark II coach over here which I will um, run with this new DBSO um, a little bit later on but yeah you can see in terms of a a colour match for, for the roof is not quite um, the same, but it's not far off. They're, they're both a kind of quite a light grey compared to some of the coach, reaches, coach, coach roofs we've got. Uh, but the yellow is not too bad. Um, Hornby one's a little bit warmer, um, 
but uh, yeah, no. Overall, I'm I'm really pleased with the um, with the match. So that's great because now we've got a network rail train that we can power with a single locomotive, and it won't look too out of place. Um, I've got the kit to do another uh, Mark II open coach. Um, I can't remember what the kit's actually for now, but it, I think it's a generator coach or radio radio testing coach, something like that. Anyway, um, we'll pick up a, a another Airfix coach um, for a good price, and then we should have a complete train. So, I hope you've enjoyed this um, video. It's been a fun project. Um, I do recommend the PH Design set. It was it was easy to use. It helps if you've got some experience of working with Photo Etch, um, and if you've got a couple of um, couple of the right tools, that makes all the difference. But I didn't find it too difficult. In fact, the, the most difficult thing really is to get these windows looking nice and neat, which I hope you will agree they do look nice and neat. Um, these I've made from brass that I had available, so they're they're hugely chunky compared to the the moulded doors. Um, you know, if you've got finer brass, then you'll be using that, and it won't look quite as as chunky as mine. But overall, very pleased with it. Um, yeah, can't wait to give it a run on the layout. have enjoyed this two-part video i really hope you have enjoyed it it's been a lot of fun for me and my daddy putting this together over the last couple of days as you can see daddy has done an absolutely amazing job i mean come on it looks absolutely glorious daddy's gonna apply some light weathering a bit later and it should look spectacular and you will see it running on the layout for many years to come thank you for all the support on my corby videos as the time i'm filming this is hit over 1.9 thousand views this is just unheard of for my channel and thank you for all of the support it really encourages me to keep going with my channel again thank you very much to my daddy for putting this together and thanks for watching goodbye